I have the uh, photo eye uh, reflector bracket uh, welded. Uh, the the customer is going to paint. Uh, they're going to have that repowder coated. Uh, so we just got black on there just to uh, help prevent it from rusting. And then you can see I've got the head. Now the wire's not long enough, so I'm going to need to extend the wire um, and um, put a box down there. I'm thinking about drilling a hole down here at the bottom and running the wire for the photo eye. This is the photo eye down through the post and down through the back and coming out of the back of that box and then uh, making my, my junction, um, my splice point for this cable down in the same box that we're making our actuator cable splice point and that might make it look a little bit better. Now we're gonna trench from that side over to here and we're gonna put a single gang box right there and that's where our actuator cable will tie into. Here's what the trench looks like. Just following that line right there and it's gonna go up to here. So I've got some three quarter inch conduit over there behind my welder and I'll put that underneath the irrigation, underneath the irrigation, then around the, uh, sorry, got out of focus, underneath this irrigation, that irrigation, then around there, and then it'll just go up the, uh, up the uh, uh, fence right there. I have the conduit installed and painted. Still got all that masking tape on there. I'll leave that till the end. I got my straps installed. I got my box installed. I just have the splice for the photo eye in there. I don't have the actuator arm splice yet, obviously, because it's it's not on there and it's not laying down close to it. It's uh, down. I got it sitting down over there.